Hello and welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications. In this video, we're going to take a look at the confirmation alert dialog box. If you recall, in the last video, we wanted an alert dialog box to pop up and say, did we want to take an action or not? In fact, let's take a look at what we had in the last video. So what we had was our basic user interface here and if we clicked the clear button we would get this warning dialog pop up asking are you sure you want to clear the fields and if you press cancel nothing happened and if you pressed OK the fields would clear and at the time what I said was I wanted to use the warning dialog box but by default the warning dialog box only came with the OK button so we added the extra button, the cancel button on there, so that we could choose not to proceed. And at the time I said there was another way of doing it. So let's take a look at the other way of doing it. So here we are and we've got exactly the same user interface and we press the clear button and this time you'll notice the icon is slightly different here. Um, but this is actually an information dialog box with the default OK and Cancel buttons provided for us. And what I've gone and done in this case is I've changed the icon to make it look like a warning dialog box. So that's what we're going to take a look at today, using our confirmation dialog box, seeing it in its default state and then converting it to show this icon here. Let's switch to our IDE. And this was the code we had last time. I'm not going to go through the rest of the application. We're just going to focus on um, the bit that pops up the dialog box. If you're interested in the code and things like that, have a look at one of the earlier videos in this series and it will um, ex explain some basics. It's not a very complicated application. So what we've got is we've got our, our is clear private method here, which brings up our alert warning dialog box there. And this is the bit where we've added in our extra button. And then we've displayed and processed the result of which button was clicked. And this is the method that's called when our button's clear, called, um, handle clear. And then it just calls this is cleared method here. And depending on the result, it will either clear the fields or it won't. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new private method and as it says here we're going to use the alert type confirmation dialog box um, which we do there you can see it there um, and we've got a little comment in there to just confirm that we're using the confirmation alert um, with a custom icon um, but to start off with we're just going to have a look at we're going to just use the default confirmation dialog box and see what we get so I'm just going to run this and if I press the clear I've still got the warning dialog box because I failed to change something we pop up to our handle clear method and we just change the call to clear to I'll save that and then run and when we press the clear button we get this blue circle this circle with blue background with a question mark in it which tells us it's a confirmation dialog box, the default confirmation dialog box. And then you get the OK and the cancel button. If I press cancel, nothing happens. And if I press OK, the fields are cleared. So that's what you get by default. But what I want is I want the warning symbol there. Um, that's the whole point of doing this. So what I'm going to do is, first things first, I am going to make myself a an icon I want to use. I have already made one, I'm not going to show you that. And I'm going to put it in the same package as this class, this connection overview controller class. So I'm just going to paste my icon in there. We'll take a look at it in a minute when it shows up. But it's um, you'll notice there's 64 on the end of the file name there. The 64 is to remind me that I've made this icon 64 pixels by 64 pixels in size. That's to give you an idea of how big by default 
you want to make an image. I think the one I've done here is a little big. You can have a look at it and make your own decision and if you want make it a little smaller. So what we're going to do is we're now going to alter our default information confirmation dialog box and put this image in. So what we do is we say get this object, get the class of this object and then get a resource relative to where the class is and because we've put our image in the same package as the class has been placed we don't need to specify a path we, oops, we can just say the name of the file and it will look in the same directory as the class definition is which is perfect for us um, and then we want to call the to string. What we're actually doing here is we are getting the URL path to where this file is because when we create a new image we are going to pass in a URL to where the new image is. So get the object, get the class, get a file relative to where the class is, get the URL of that file, create a new image and then set the graphic property in the alert dialog box to this new URL. So that's what we're doing there. And so if I save that now and we run this we will no longer have the circle with the blue background and the question mark that we had last time but we will have our custom warning triangle there um, and all the other functionality is exactly the same. So there we have it. If you want to pop up a dialog box and kind of check somebody wants to do something you can use a confirmation dialog box uh, which gives you the yes or no button with the circle with the blue background and the question mark or you can use the warning dialog box with the triangle and the exclamation mark and the yellow background um, and you can add on an extra button to cancel so that they don't have the option or any other buttons that you want to have things any actions you want taken. So hope you found that interesting um, and if you want go back have a look at some of the others or go to softwarepulse.co.uk to the website and have a look at some of the other things that are available there and hopefully I will see you in another video, video shortly.